And uh, on behalf of uh, the Johns Hopkins uh, Kimmel Cancer Center and an exciting new uh, nonprofit organization called Red Card Cancer, which is working all across the United States and I think ultimately all across the world to uh, bring uh, attention and support for cancer research. Truly the world's greatest game taking on one of its most dread diseases. And we're here today for a very special event with Red Card Cancer and our new partners, Champions International Camps. Uh, we're very excited for Red Card Cancer because we believe we're taking the biggest game in the world to fight the biggest opponent in the world, and that's cancer. And this is a very important message from sports, in our case from soccer. It's very important to have uh, people like Billy, people like Cannavaro and the others, you know, because we have also Iran, Suado, many other players that will come in the United States to be together, to be on the pitch with kids, giving to the kids the same experience they made when they were kids and they grew up as a champion and now they can teach and they can live together with them. That is, uh, that's my, my feeling and I'm so happy that I found people like Billy and I found people like uh, Luca Serafini and the others being together with us and probably this is why we are here with red cat cancer and why we're here with John Hopkins and that gives me a, a, I mean, a, a lot of strength to do uh, better and better every day. Thank you. For uh, Red Card Cancer, we affiliated with Champions International Camps. It's, it's very special, as I said. Um, I'm just struck by the, the message of the camp about it's important about technically and tactically. The, the coach will have his players go through some things with Billy and Easy. But just this idea that soccer, to be a good soccer player, it has to go beyond just what you do with the ball. It's a healthy lifestyle. And, and as Billy said, having fun. I think it's a great opportunity for the young players here in Baltimore, Dunbar High School to be, you know, knocking a ball around with legends like that. So, uh, and then for Red Card Cancer, it, it kind of brands us internationally, uh, that they reached out to us and we have a, you know, a program that can help eliminate cancer, send off cancers, which you do with the Red Card. So we're, we're real excited. I will, I will love you because uh, the organization, you know about Italy, about uh, bureaucracy, that's, that's the impossible thing. <laughs> and we decided to be here for organization, for people, for passion, for soccer. We, we didn't know about uh, how American uh, loves, uh, loves soccer. I spent uh, one month ago, uh, one, two, two months here during the World Cup in 1994. Uh, uh, it, was, it was fantastic. So I thank you. I sh I'm sure uh, we're going to spend a great time here in, in Baltimore. Thanks uh, again to my friend and uh, see ya. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye bye. We have many uh, American coaches who are helping and hosting these camps. And our camps will extend from June until August. We're located in cities uh, Miami, Seattle, California. Um, New York twice, um, and Los Angeles. The opportunity to be able to go to such a prestigious camp and to play with such amazing players, they're going to get so much from it and they're so excited about being able to play with professionals that it's, it's, it's amazing. So we're, we'll hopefully excel even more this year than we did last year. So. Uh, this is a way to give back both ways across the generation. Cancers are often diseases that arise in people that, as they get older and in young people. It's a, an idea where the generations can come together not just to kick the ball, but to, in fact to use the game to make the world a better place more broadly. And so that's what we're about. And Champions International looks like it's going to be a great partner for Red Card Cancer. And so thank you all for coming.